Hey guys, how's it going? You're watching another episode of KVX at Arctic Jobs. We are here at the Fuels Barn. In the winter, they're mainly in this building, but in the summer, they have another building that's out at Williams Airfield, and that is a whole separate gig. Seth is going to give us a tour here. Thanks a lot, Seth. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, what do you got over here? Some goodies, some, some valves. Uh, you got some uh, connectors. Valves and connectors yeah. for fuel. Yeah. Pumps as well. Either, uh, anything from uh, unleaded fuel. And, um, yeah. Some other electrical cables, obviously, hooking up for pumps and stuff. Right? Yeah, uh, actually, those are uh, for uh, these reels. Oh, for reels. Giant boxes. Oh. Kind of fun. I was wondering how you. Okay, so this is how you move the actual reel itself, huh? You got it. So wow. it's these heavy boxes that uh, convert energy to freaking, you know, that little motor over there. Yeah. It's all uh, electricity. Uh, when we use it out in the field, we have to hook up a generator to it. But okay. Farm, just plug it in. Oh. And this is how it works here. This. Here we go. Here goes an example. Whoa. Oh, that is sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's neat. Watch your fingers. Watch <laughs> that your pinky is points. neat. So that's how they reel them out. I was wondering, that makes sense. Okay, that's how they reel them out. And then they connect them piece after piece all the way out until the, till they get to the, but, uh, until they get out to the Willy Fuel Pit. 12 they, aviation tanks out you there. You have 12 now. of them? Yeah. Okay, 12 tanks. Um, we filmed quite a few times. Actually, oh, more than, season. oh, okay. Oh, yeah, during the season? Is, okay, I, think I didn't know that. every other week almost, we, oh. uh, we top those tanks off. Okay, so they get filmed multiple times uh, when they set up the fuel line in the summer. Hose layout and hose pickup is it's a big task. It yeah. It's quite a few... Uh, teammates and some big heavy equipment and so we have a nice little lounge here we got a little, little kitchenette every place every work center has pretty much a little kitchenette a little nice little coffee mugs and stuff yeah. nice little you guys have the nicest lounge like lounging area no, i don't know this is for morning meetings oh, okay all these little extra yeah and this room is packed yeah, because people sitting on the floor, like, yeah. it's just packed with people. How many people are, are here in the summer? Do you know? Uh, God. Is it, do you know, Carlos? Close to 20, huh? About 20. 20, 20 some, okay. Really. So it's pretty full in here. You have, I see you have truck inside. So this is a truck that they use to take out to the airfield. It's a wheeled truck. Yeah. Got a lift on it, big fat tires. Yeah. Oh, you got, you guys are lucky. You guys got the crew cab. You got the double, where, we have this, the mat track has like the half. <laughs> You guys got the full door, it's two full doors. So we pack that truck with yeah. people and bags. That's and nice. Like it is, it's so guys, this is called the grasshopper. Everything has a name for it out here. This is the grasshopper, the ones they use to go around town. How many, how many gallons can that hold in it? About 1,700 gallons. 1,700, okay. And you guys mainly use it just for diesel. Diesel fuel only. Only diesel. Yeah. This is Delta Sharon, right? This is Delta Sharon. This is an old lady here. So how much uh, fuel or diesel can she hold? She's also the same size tank. 1700? Yeah, okay. 17, 17, and you use this to go on the ice shelf when you need to go out to Phoenix and Willie to do fuel runs or anything? Yeah, see this one has got the big tires, wider, they can go over uh, larger cracks in the sea ice. Uh, those big tires um, also help for snow, so she doesn't get stuck much. Yep. If you get her stuck, it's something impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is uh, our newest member in the family is Delta Liz. Nice shiny red coat and a lot of chrome. She's real pretty to look at. Uh, one of the things that uh, she specializes is in is she uh, she can, it's got a Webasto in there so it'll warm up the truck so you don't have to have it plugged in. Okay. So it'll warm it up before you start it. So it's great for just leaving out the airfield in the summertime. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, filling, you know, all the different buildings out at the uh, at Willie Field or uh, Phoenix. Are. Oh, they are? we got fuel in both of them right now. Okay, these, so. These go ba date back to the Navy. These are two tanks that eventually will get torn down. And uh, right now we've got, uh, I think, a mixture of... Uh, an8 and jp5 but when the tank is empty yeah uh it, depending on how many years it's been they'll uh, uh, take the, the manhole off and go uh, go inside of it suck the rest of the fuel at the bottom and yep. then squeegee the muck and all the other icky stuff clean it up have, um, yeah okay 
This is their fuels lab. This is where uh, science Neat. happens. And this, yeah, and uh, ah. oh, it's too tight right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got some fun to tools in here. That uh, this one here uh, is a sediment tester, and uh, basically we pour fuel into this thing. Whoa, avalanche! Put a couple filters on there, drain some fuel in there, and we see, um, you know, how much gunk is in the fuel. And down here, it's beautiful fuel. It's yeah. Been filtered so many times. Yeah. But yeah, this is a box that is sent out to the airfields, and um, we'll get them port. And uh, this like, fuel will be tested. When the summer's tested daily, every day, because there's right? every single day. Yep. Unless there's bad weather, and then they don't have to test. Um, but yeah, so we do uh, that test uh, for sediment. Uh, we also test for water in that one. Fuel and water. Okay. Uh, this was fun. Uh, uh, a couple times a month, we test uh, for flashpoint. And it's got a cool little thing, that little glow thing that goes in there and sees if it will ignite or not. Um, and at a certain temperature, it will let us, you know, it will ignite. It will be a little flash. <laughs> We've got a tool over here that takes a whole bunch of swirling and mixing and all these cool little beaker looking things. Oh. And all these are kept, you know, you can see a couple sediment filters, and this yellow one is oh, the water okay. filter. Um, if a plane goes down, yeah. the first thing they do is they'll grab They're gonna want this those. stuff in our book, and we're gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what to do. I'll put the links below in the job description for these jobs. If you are interested in a job, check them out. If you're not, pass it along to a friend, share the video, give it a thumbs up. You know what to do. I'm out. See ya. Bye.